Hi y'all, I'm Allison. Welcome to the Mighty Boo Joe. I've got a weekly layout for y'all featuring two adorable little teddy bears. So we're going to uh, begin this by sketching them out and then I'll be drawing and coloring them in with my Tombows. And I have it set up as a split screen for you so when my hand's in the way you'll still be able to see what's going on. He is super easy to draw. It's just a few circles will give you his head and then he's going to be holding a sign. You will notice that the image on the left is looks narrower than he actually is and that's just from the camera angle. Like I said, I wanted to make sure you could see what was going on even when my hand was in the way. I decided to give him some really big feet. And then I am using this layout for the week of Valentine's, which is just in a day or two. So I'm gonna have seven hearts here, kind of doing a trail across the center of the page. But you could easily adjust this for any other time of the year. Just replace the hearts with whatever you like. You could even do uh, circles or squares, you know, whatever you want in the center. But these little guys, I think, just make the page. We've got this one that's just peeking in on the book, and he is by far my absolute favorite. So there's what our layout's going to be, and now I need to erase most of my pencil lines. I'm not erasing it completely, there's still a hint of it. If you look closely, you'll be able to see to show me how to draw it again. And the hearts that I did originally, those were just kind of, I did those more for layout purposes just to make sure that everything would fit. I wasn't worried about copying those the way they were originally. And then by leaving that little crescent shape of white in each of them, it gives them a little shine, gives them a little bit of dimension. So we start by coloring him in with our lightest color for his feet inside of his ears and his snout. And then I've got a different brown and just coloring his little face. Now the Tombos do streak in the Lick Charm journals, so keeping that in mind, I always do my brush strokes in the direction that I want the streaking to go. And I think it just gives them kind of a, a furry look, so I don't mind it at all. And then I did switch over to a regular black to color in the details on his face, and I wanted to make his ears bigger, so I just copied that shape over and use a very dark one to give some shadowing on his tummy and his chin. Over here we've got this guy in gray. This looks a little bluish. And then there's a different tone of gray for his uh, snout. He's just so cute. And then the black. We've got part of this smile is off page and by leaving the two little white spots in his eyes it uh, really brings it to life be adding the white to the other guy later after that black has a chance to dry completely some these are for my days of the week Put an extra big heart in the center for Valentine's Day. And then he's holding my next week sign. And this will become my to-do box. added a few little lines on his paws to make it look like he's actually holding it. And some creases in his leg. And this one I pretty much just followed the outline. I didn't add any 
extra. Except I cleaned up the edges of his eyes. And this is going to be for my errands and calls that I need to do this week. And there's a little dot and decided to give him a little mouth, which I think makes all the difference on him. Once that detail is added, his cuteness factor just goes off the charts, I think. But anyway, there we go. It's a bright, cute little page with plenty of space. So I hope you enjoyed this and we'll put these little guys in your books. Keep an eye out. I'll have another one with more teddy bears later on in the week or the beginning of next week. I hope you have a great Valentine's and I'll see you next time. Bye y'all.